Yeah, what's up guys? This is Kingstar First Trader. Welcome back. Yeah, before I proceed with this video, please, I'm begging you, forgive me. Forgive my handwriting, please. I have a very bad handwriting and it's very late to learn how to write. <laughs> At my age, it's late already. Well, I believe, you know, there is <laughs> nothing. Everything is possible so I can still improve. Alright, today, I am glad because I want to show you something. Most of us here have been watching videos on YouTube. We have watched different strategies. We already, uh, you know, have some patterns and everything we trade, you know. But sometimes it seems like we are not consistent when you talk about when when you talk about the profitability and everything, how we grow our account. Sometimes we grow and blow and everything. I want to show you the secret. Something you need to know. There is something you need to know. Just this little thing. Because I know most of you, I have encountered many traders and people who are actually beginners and people who have been trading for long. I told that some of you guys, in fact, most of you are very smart and you guys are good. The only thing is that there is some a kind of certain things you need to know that we get. Just little push for you to start, you know, making it big in this industry. And that is exactly what I want to show you here. And I call this. <laughs> who is ready to hear this? Yeah, if you are new here, consider subscribing to this channel. This is King's FX channel. All right, here we draw forex trading strategies guide like this one. All right, so here I'm going to be showing you what I call the test. Okay, the test method. Okay, the test method. So here, just pay attention, guys. I have my first T, I have the E, I have the S, and I have my last T. So the first T is time frame. Okay? My E is entry. So my S is stop loss, okay, and my last T is targets, okay, so guys, this test is only, this is the only test you, if you just, if you pass this test, as long as trading is consigned you are good to go this is a test and you must pass it for you to be profitable here in this financial space okay if you did not pass this test <laughs> guys i'm kind of giving you guys test all right so you must pass this four four things here okay which i i named uh test method for you to be a profitable trader guys this is very simple all right okay Let's go deep, one after the other. Number one is time frame. Time frame, okay? Now, if you want to be a consistent, profitable trader, you must master a particular time frame. You must work with a particular time frame. This doesn't mean that you maybe I, I'm not a kind of saying that you should not do your top bottom analysis, you know, go to higher time frame, you know, analyze maybe see the overview of the chart, then come down to your entry time frame or draw your support and resistance in any time frame or all that. But you must have your favorite time frame, you must have a time frame that you pay close attention to and see more details where you enter your trade. You must have your favorite time frame. And this time frame depends, for me, it depends on your equity. What do I mean? It depends on your equity. Now, what I mean by this is that, let's assume you have, um, let's say you have a $10 account, okay? Now, if you have a $10 account, I decided to choose four hours time frame as your favorite time frame. 
that means this is your entry time frame this is the time frame you pay attention to before you click that buy button or sell button all right now in four hours you have the price maybe making this kind of movement all right and this is an uptrend right okay at this point you discover it's an uptrend you discover it's an uptrend you know because of the the the, the movement of the price okay then you decided to buy maybe here okay and when you bought there the price get to this point decided to pull back again to retest the trend line you know to continue the the movement okay so from this point you be you are losing money already currently at this pullback when you have ten dollar account this pullback what's more than fifty dollars in four hours time frame so that means this pullback is going to close your account for you this is the problem you guys have you are not wrong most of traders most of my traders out of experience and discussion i discover most of you are very good traders you guys are good analysts you guys have watched a lot of videos know a lot of strategies patterns and everything but the problem is that you lack this kind of information. Now, you have seen the trend. This is an uptrend, okay? And you have entered the trade the right way. This is, uh, sorry, you entered the trade. Good. You bought because the price is going up. And that's what you are taught. Maybe you're watching the video on YouTube or you have taken, a, 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 maybe uh, paid for a class or you have gone through uh, a kind of uh, pastoral mentorship program from someone, all right? Then... The conclusion is that when the market is going up, you buy. When it's going down, you sell. But the person did not pay close attention to the time frame regarding to your equity, okay? The amount you have. That means you enter this trade here. There was a pullback and this pullback closed this account for you. You are right. It's an uptrend. And the price keep going up. Sorry. The price keep going up, Okay? But you discover that you have closed your account because of what wrong time frame. You must understand this. This might be the problem you are having. You are good, but you don't know your time frame. So if you have a ten dollar account, you should be going to five m five minute time frame. 10 15 all right you have a 10 dollar account you should focus on this time frame here all right this is your time frame guys i don't know what you'll be doing uh on one hour two hours four hours or daily time frame with a 10 dollar account so with a 10 dollar account your time frame should be 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or 15 minutes. First in first. You need to understand this. So that when you see the price making this movement, okay? On 5 minutes time frame, and you decided to buy here, this pullback is not going to cost you up to $2 or $3. And it will not hit your stop loss, you keep moving. Alright? You'll be able to, you know, protect your equity and be able to manage your account properly. You'll be able to grow your account properly. Why? Just because you have chosen the right time frame and it will help you, you know, manage your account properly and protect your equity, you know, from... Bro deep, I've, I've uh, already kind of uh, made you understand that why you lose trade. It's not that you don't know what you are doing or the class you have taken on online is... Uh, wrong or the YouTube videos you are watching is not helpful. No, it's because you don't know the basic thing that will make you a profitable trader or a consistent profitable trader here or help you grow your account or manage your account or protect your equity. So first thing first, you must understand the concept of time frame. You must have a favorite time frame where you enter your trade, where you pay close attention to. Remember, you can still do your top bottom analysis, but you must go to a time frame where depending on your equity depending on your amount the amount of money you have in your account 
it will help you a lot that's number one thing guys that's number one thing okay so the second thing you need to consider is entry which is the e on the test entry now this is a place where you enter your trade this is a condition you will give to yourself okay now you are you are working or maybe you have it you, you have learned a skill and uh, maybe let me just use trading as an example you you have learned this trading and decided to offer services you teach people how to trade okay now you de you decided to market trading maybe on facebook or youtube or anywhere and you set the condition a standard if you pay a certain amount of money let me say you are uh you are collecting um maybe ten dollar per section and you decided that okay once you pay in ten dollar okay in my account i'm going to have a live section with you for one hour right okay this is a condition you have set. this is a standard you have set for yourself so once somebody chats you up and say hey i want to learn trading okay good you know the price already yeah okay the person will now say okay i promise i will pay you okay you send him your 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 details for payment and maybe after two hours the person chat you up and say oh i've paid the money you say okay let's start you send your maybe address or um zoom uh link anything at all that you depending on the prof platform you do your, your live section with then the person now looks uh, kind of you know follow up and you guys start the class after the whole stuff then you go and check your balance and you discover that you have zero uh dollar in your balance and you start crying or you start shouting you disrespected or you did not pay attention to this condition all right your condition is that you collect ten dollar per hour for your life section that means if someone should tell you that or someone maybe communicates a uh, kind of call you and say i've paid the money you need to confirm this you need to make sure that your condition have been met before you proceed with the class i know why i use a kind of uh, payment or anything like this in teaching forest for example because i want to you know relate it to trading so that when you have a false signal when somebody that is when i'm, I'm trying to relate it now when somebody call a kind of uh, drop a message to you that he, he or she have actually paid for your class you still need to confirm this all right so the same thing when you are trading there are some signals you see you need to confirm the signal before you enter so there must be something there must be a condition you have set a a, a, a rule or lay down rule you have set for yourself that if this thing happens i'm going to enter a buy if the other one happened i'm going to enter a sell if these two things did not happen even if they they are very close or they kind of almost happened i'm not doing anything this is my entry condition you must have an entry condition let me do it with this this is not <laughs> looking good at all so you must have an entry condition all right so if these conditions, maybe a condition or conditions, depending on however or your, the strategy or anything you are using, if these things are not met, if these conditions are not, are not met, you are not entering your trade. You must have a trigger. What actually triggers you to, to click that buy button or sell button? So if you did not see any of these things, you are not clicking anything. That button remains dormant. There must be something. You can be you can enter your trade using any entry trigger it could be candlestick patterns it could be a moving average crossover it could be quick rejections it could be candlestick consolidation 
it you can actually use it you can also use different indicators no matter what you use those are your conditions once those things you did not see them happening or you not see those your setup ready you are not clicking that button this is discipline this is you trying to take things serious all right you must understand this e which is entry if you miss this entry the point you enter a trade the most important thing as a trader is your entry point and your exit point if you miss these two things ha, i'm very sorry because you are going to you keep blowing your account and you still remain an av average trader even the, you know sometimes so, some people will chat me up and be like I'm, i've been trading for five years i say i have what and what and what that is it's not about the years you have been trading is how consistent your profits or how consistent profitable trader you are it's not about how many years you have been in this industry or in this business all right okay so this entry you must have an entry point you must have an entry trigger or signal something that actually push you to click that buy button or sell button you must have those things down i don't care about any strategy you are using i don't care about your time frame i'm talking about after choosing your time frame you must have that entry trigger what triggers you to click a buy or a sell this is number two so number three is stop loss which is sl right now after analyzing your trade what if you are wrong what if you made a mistake mistake in the process what if you actually attach your emotion why analyzing the market that's the question what if you are wrong if you are if you are wrong with your analysis or the market is manipulated in quotes what is your fate that is what when you start thinking about stop loss that's what kind of what brings about stop loss you must understand this there is no analysis that is hundred percent okay nothing like there is nothing there's no analysis that is hundred percent KCFS strategies I always say it is not highest you will see me talk about strategy I will just if after testing the strategy I might say okay the strategy is 90 percent 99 percent and all that but no strategy is hundred percent you can still lose with that with that strategy you think is the best or the most accurate all right that's why it's very important to bear in mind or to consider a point where you a kind of set a limit that if my price the price the the the, the market or the price is going up what of if it starts going down what of if, if it changes direction now i'm willing that once it hit this point now finally i've concluded that this price have changed the direction as in the price have changed direction that means i want you to close my trade here we know stop loss we all, we all have watched videos on stop loss and everything this is it you must consider your stop loss before you click that buy button or sell button some of us we just click and you are watching your trade you are looking okay if it's going down you close if you, go, you know that you are attached your emotion you are stressing yourself before you click that buy button or sell button first of all you must have a time frame secondly you must have something that triggers your buy or sell the third one is you must consider the point where you close if you are wrong with your analysis so that is the question what if you are wrong if you are wrong where are you expected to leave the trade or to close the trade that is exactly what we refer to as stop loss okay that is the third thing you need to consider before taking any trade this all these things is what you consider this is the test before you take any trade, this is the test you need to pass before you take any trade or before you are qualified to take any trade. This is the test. So the last but not the least is the target.
which you might call TP. In anything you do, you must or you should have a target. You must have a goal that once I get to this point, I'm going to re-strategize or I'm going to do all that stuff. In 20 years, I'm going to build a house for myself. In five years, I'm going to buy a car. In a year, I'm going to own anything you want. I'm going to buy a private jet and all that. Good. That is, it might, that, kind of that, that, that may be somebody's goal. All right? So the same thing in trading, there must be a point where you, you know, take profit. There must be a point where you close your trade in profit. All right? So you must consider your take profit level before you click that buy button or sell button. These are four basic things you need to know. These are four basic things or the reason why you have been, you know, an average trader for years or the reason why you have been losing your trade or reason why you, you just grow, dump, you know, you, you know, make some money today, tomorrow you blow the, the, your account or tomorrow you lose your profit and all that. This might be the reason you don't have a time frame, you don't have an entry, you don't have your stop loss in check, and you don't have your take profits. So for you to be a profitable trader, you must pass these tests. You must pass these tests. Okay? If you must be a consistent, profitable trader, you must pass this test. Guys, this is exactly what I want to show you in this video. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button. Destroy that like button for me. I want to get up to 1K like on this video. Alright, share this video. Subscribe to this, this channel. Support this channel. If you want to learn forex trading also, hit me up at Trader, And I will see you guys when I see you in my next video. Bye for now, guys.